So you've been wanting to start your dropshipping business, but you haven't either because you're too broke or because you think it's too much work and it's too hard. Most people are under the impression that you need to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars sometimes to be able to invest in your advertising, in your product research and your store. Realistically speaking, that's not true. You can start with literally zero dollars. Don't believe me? Well, then just watch this video to find out how you can. But if we're being realistic, sometimes you do need some sort of a budget. Obviously, the more money you're able to invest, the bigger the returns can be, and sometimes even the quicker the returns will come. But that's not the point of this video. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start your dropshipping business with zero dollars or at least as close to zero as possible, maybe two or three dollars. Remember, a lot of the times you do have to pay for some sort of trial. So that's pretty much where our budget is going to go to, to a trial to literally just get started. So this video is going to teach you how you can get started dropshipping and how you can start scaling from the bottom. So with Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's run that intro and let's go. What's going on everyone? Mario here with AutoDS. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember on this channel, we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, starting from some of the best tips and tricks to help you get started and scale your business, all the way to some of the best products that you can offer each and every month. So of course, if that's something that interests you, then just go ahead and subscribe. So your biggest issue is the fact that you're too broke to get started dropshipping. You have maybe $10 to your name. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is more than enough to get started. How do we do so? Well, the first thing that you need to do is pick your platform. So there's some platforms that you can truly start with $0. So let's say, for example, you start dropshipping on eBay. You don't have to pay absolutely anything until you make a sale. Now, the thing about eBay is that fee that you get charged at the end, once you actually make the sale, it could be a little bit high. The final value fee that eBay charges you once you make the sale will vary depending on the category that your item is in. Now that can vary up to maybe 13, 14%. Now, some other platforms are fairly similar. Like let's say Etsy, you actually have to pay 15 cents to be able to list your product and then you pay a fee at the end once it sells. But those are marketplaces where you sell on somebody else's platform. In this case, we're going to be selling on our own platform. So we're going to be creating our own website. Now, when it comes to actually creating your own dropshipping website, one of the most popular platforms out there is definitely going to be Shopify. Shopify is one of the easiest platforms that you can get started on and they make creating an e-commerce site super easy. Now, Shopify does have a monthly fee. These fees are going to vary depending on the plan that you get. But to get started, you can actually start a free trial for about three or four days. Then after that, you select the plan, which gives you the ability to have a three month extended trial. Each one of those months is going to cost you one dollar. So at the beginning, you are going to start with zero dollars for the first couple of days, and then you're going to have to pay one dollar each month for the next three months. If you ask me, that is not a bad investment at all to get your dropshipping store started. So right now we are on the Shopify website. We're at Shopify. Com. And all we're going to do here is we're going to click to get our free trial started. So we're going to click on start free trial and then Shopify is going to ask us a few questions. Honestly, you don't need to worry about this. You can easily just skip all. This doesn't matter. This part though does. So where are you going to be selling? In my case, I'm going to be selling in the US. So let's click on next and then it's asking me to create a Shopify ID. So here you can sign in with any method you prefer. All right. So I signed up using my email and now it's doing its thing and it's actually creating and building your own store. And there we go. All right. So this is the first thing that you're going to see once you create your store. As you can see, it's super easy to get started. Right now, we're pretty much done. So here you can see that our free trial just started and our trial is going to end August 11th. Right now it's August 7th. So that gives us a four day free trial where we don't have to pay absolutely anything. Now, as you can see up here, you have the extend your trial for just a dollar a month. This is what I was telling you earlier, where once you select the plan, then you do have to pay $1 each month for the next three months. My suggestion, don't do this until you have your store up and running or honestly, until your free trial is up. Try to extend this as much as possible so that way you can get the most time that you can without having to pay anything. So in this case, we're actually going to start a plan on August 11th. Now, really quick, I do want to go over the prices so that way you all have an idea of how much this is going to cost you after your three month plan. So let's just quickly go and select the plan. Again, we're not going to select it now. So these are the different tiers. For the basic, it's $29 a month. Then for the Shopify level, it's going to be $79 a month. And then for the advanced, it's going to be $299 a month. Now, of course, these all say $1 because you're going to have a one dollar trial for the next three months but then after those three months these are the prices that are going to kick in all right so now back to the home as you can see we have a checklist we have a little setup guide that shopify provides for us in order to get our store up and running now the first thing it's telling us to do is to add a product but what exactly are we going to add we don't have any products to add we don't even know what our drop shipping store is going to be based on are we going to do a general store or are we going to do a niche store what's the difference well a general store you're going to be selling a little bit of everything so you can sell anything from phone chargers to the slushy cup while with a niche store 
store, you're going to focus on a particular niche or category. So skateboarding, anime, fitness, whatever category you decide on. General stores are awesome to be able to test out different products. Now between the two, my personal recommendation is start off with a general store. In a general store, you can really add anything that you want and not have to worry about anything being out of place. Since it is a general store, you're pretty much opening something like a target online. So you're going to be able to sell whatever you want. This is perfect. So that way you can start testing out different products and see what actually works and what actually sells. If you notice that a certain product is doing really well, then you can go ahead and take that product and you can open up a new store with it. You can open up either a one product store, which this store would focus directly on that product, or you can open up a store that's dedicated to that product's particular niche. So my personal recommendation again is to start off with a general store. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start doing some product research. I'm going to show you a few different methods in order to find some best selling products. Some of these can start with a couple bucks while the others are completely free. So product research. How do we conduct proper product research and how do we find products that are actually trending and people are looking for? Well, one of the easiest and cheapest methods to do this is by using TikTok. Everyone is on TikTok and everyone is trying to sell on TikTok and it's working. There's a reason why everyone is preferring TikTok as their e-commerce platform to be able to advertise their products. So the first thing that you need to do is head on over to TikTok.com and then in the search bar, look up hashtag TikTok made me buy it. Once you do that, you're going to be prompted with tons of different videos, all with pretty much drop shipped products. So here we did just that. And as you can see, pretty much everything that you scroll down are all going to be different people trying to sell their products. Now, the point of doing this is to find products that people are actually interested in. So look for videos that have high views, look for videos that have high likes and high income engagement, people commenting on them, making positive remarks. Also, another important thing is look for videos that are recent. Don't look for anything that's more than two months old, let's say. So as I'm scrolling through TikTok, I'm looking for videos that meet the requirements that I mentioned earlier, high engagement, and recently posted. So as I'm scrolling, I find this one that was posted at the beginning of July. Not that long ago, it's been about a month. This seems to be a jewelry cleaner. So this is exactly that. It is a ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. It uses UV light and you really don't have to do anything in order to actually clean your jewelry. So right there, we have both our wow factor as well as the value it adds to the customer. The wow factor is the fact that you don't really have to do much and it's actually gonna clean your jewelry for you. Then the value is the fact that you don't really have to do much. You can literally just sit the piece of jewelry in there and it's gonna get clean. Now, this seems like a pretty good product for us to sell. It has 11.6 million views, which is an insane amount. And it has a thousand over a thousand comments, which is not bad. Looks cool. I need this perfect gift. I have the machine. It works well. I use it to clean my rings, necklace and eyeglasses. This to me is enough proof that it works. So now what we need to do is we need to find this actual product. Now, this is actually fairly easy. It's pretty quick and pretty simple to be able to track down the suppliers from our competitors. Check this out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on their profile. So we're going to go to the Skyline brand TikTok page. Then, oh, there we have, well, actually, you know what? As you can see, that's pretty much all they focus on. So these people probably have a one product store. So then we have Skyline Brand Co. This is their link in their bio. Let's go ahead and click on that. And sure enough, it takes us to the CleanPod 360, selling at $23.99, down from $33.99. And as you can see, yep, that's pretty much all it is. This is a one product store and all they're selling is this ultrasonic cleaner. Now for the fun part, let's go ahead and track down their supplier. So for this, all we have to do is simply look at the image, hover over, right click and search image with Google. Then it might ask us to highlight the image that we want. So then we're just going to click drag and drop over here. And then this little panel on the side is going to open up with a bunch of different suggestions that are related to that same image. So all we have to do is scroll down. And sure enough, the first link here is on AliExpress. You can get it for $10 and 11 cents. That's not US dollars. Let's go ahead and change that Colombian pesos. There you go. $7 and 24 cents, even better. All right. So here we have the ultrasonic cleaner. We can get it for $7 and 24 cents with free shipping. And and it is delivered by August 25th. So it's about two weeks shipping. That's not bad. We always want to look for products that ship fairly quickly and get to your customers at least in two weeks. We want to try to avoid products that take over a month to ship. All right. So now we have one example of a product that we can sell. At this point, typically we would end up just going back over to our Shopify page, clicking at a product and filling all of this out manually. Now here's a different way that we can do this. That's going to stick to our zero to $3 budget and is also going to give us a lot more options for products to sell. So for this, all we have to do is go ahead and click on the search bar and click on apps. Once we click on apps, we're going to look for AutoDS and then we're going to go ahead and install the AutoDS dropshipping products application. So here, all we have to do is click on install. And for this, you are going to have a trial and the trial is only going to cost you $1. Then we're going to choose the account that we want to do this with. I had two accounts, so I'm just going to choose the one that I just created. All right. So then it's going to ask us to actually install the app. All we have to do here is click on install once again, and then it's going to take us to the AutoDS marketplace. Once we're on here, we're pretty much done. The app has been installed and we're ready to use it. Now, let me show you a couple of other ways that you can do product research that are going to blow all 
all of the other ways out of the water. So for one, we have the winning product section. We can go ahead and click on this. And these are all proven winning products that have been trending and proven to sell in the past. Here we have the option to look through tons of different products that all for one, add value to a customer's life and two, have a wow factor. Now the other option that we have over at AutoDS is on the marketplace. So once you click into the marketplace, you can go ahead and select a supplier as AutoDS suppliers. These are gonna have some of the fastest shipping that you're gonna find. So here we can scroll down and as you can see, a lot of these actually have two to four business days for shipping and that's for it to get to your customer, not for the supplier to actually send out the item. That's pretty quick and trust me, your customers are gonna love that. So looking through the marketplace, I found this particular product, a cute cartoon baby bath cap. So this has both a wow factor as well as adding value to your customer's life as well. Here the wow factor is the ease of use when it comes to showering your child. Then the value is, aside from the ease of use, the fact that you can control where the water is so you don't have to get soap and water in your kid's eyes. So let's go ahead and click into it. And once it opens up, we have a few different options. We have the different variations and how much the item costs. So here you can see it costs $11.36 and it has a $6 shipping fee. Shipping and processing times, six to nine business days. Not bad. So these are a few different ways that you can conduct proper product research. These are also two different suppliers that you can use in your dropshipping journey to find some best selling products that are actually quality. So now we actually need to get this product to our store. So we can do it the manual way, which I showed you earlier, where you need to copy everything over. Or in this case, since we're using AutoDS, AutoDS is going to streamline the entire process for you. AutoDS will streamline the entire importing process, the order fulfillment process, and as you can see, even the product research process. So here, all we have to do is simply click on import draft. Now, once we do that, it's going to be automatically uploaded to our draft section. So let's go ahead and click on our draft section here. And you can see here our cute cartoon baby bath cap. Now here on this page, we can do everything that we need to do in order to update our listing and update our product page. So let's go ahead and click to edit. Now, as far as the title, you can see we have the cute cartoon baby bath cap and it's super long and it's not very pleasurable to read. It's too long and it's horrible. <laughs> so one of the best things that we can do here is actually update the title to something that's shorter and maybe a bit more descriptive, maybe even a little bit more fun. Now we have a couple of ways to do this. We can either do this ourselves or we can go to chat GPT and ask chat GPT to give us a better title. But instead of doing that, we're going to do everything from this same screen. So let's go ahead and optimize title with AI. So once we're on here, we're going to choose a tone. In this case, because of the type of product that it is, I want to make it sound a bit more funny or a bit more fun. And our temperature, either creative or precise, I just like to leave it at balanced. Now, at the same time, we are going to need a description. So I'm going to do both the title as well as the description. Now, for the title, we already have it a bit more funny. For the description, we're going to keep the same thing, keep it a bit funny. And for the temperature, balanced. So this is going to cost us a total of six credits. As you can see, we have 12 credits, so we're good. Now let's AI write. So after a bit of thinking, it's putting everything together. And now we have our title, the magical unicorn shower gear, baby's bath time adventure kit. It's not that bad. Then it gives us the product title, which I believe this was the original one and our description. So introducing the adorable and hilarious cute cartoon baby bath caps. These caps are not your ordinary bath accessories. They are especially designed to make bath time a fun and entertaining experience for both babies and parents. All right, this sounds pretty good. It gives us the brand name, the origin. This is actually really good right here. Check this out. Brand name, Hyunir, whatever. But then it even added, don't ask us how to pronounce it. We have no idea either. <laughs> That's actually really good. We don't necessarily need that though. So we can go ahead and take that off. Then here, yes, it's made in China, but don't worry. It's not made from cheap plastic toys. It's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good. I like that. And then it gives us a bit more information down here. If you want to read all of this, all you have to do is click on pause and read it. But this is too much for me to read right now. But overall, it does sound pretty good. Any adjustments that we have to do, we can just make them through here directly. Now, once we're ready, all we have to do is click on save. So once we save it, then we have here the option to add it to any collections if we want to. We also have some tags so we can keep track of the sales and some more information on the product itself through our AutoDS dashboard. Then we have the shipping methods. Typically here, the best option to keep it is at cheapest with tracking because it'll be the cheapest option to ship and you'll still be able to give your customers tracking information. If you choose fastest, it could be pretty expensive. And if you choose cheapest, more than likely you're not going to get tracking. So this option is the best one. Then you have the country where it's located and the brand, which we edited using AI. Then we have our variants. So we have the different kinds of colors. Here we can set our prices. So here all we have to do is select everything at once and then click on edit. Now here we have a few options. You can change the fee percentage, which is the amount that you're gonna get charged in fees for selling these different products. That really varies depending on the platform that you're selling on. So we're not really gonna go anywhere on that. The default quantity, we're not gonna change that either because AutoDS is gonna keep track of our quantity versus the quantity that our suppliers have. So when our suppliers are low in quantity, then that's also gonna match ours. Our profit through a dollar amount. So if we wanna make $25 on each product, here all we have to do is do 25 and $25 will be added to the price of each and every variant. Now that's not really beneficial because some variants could cost a bit more than others. So it's not really going to add up. Of course, depending on the product that you're selling, it could work. Now the profit percentage, this is what I like to do here. I like to do a profit percentage. So here we can increase our profit through a certain percentage. So all of the different variants that we have will be increased by this percentage.
percentage. Let's say for this case, we're doing 130%. Or you can set a sell price where everything is going to be the same price. But we did a profit percentage. So let's go ahead and update. And as you can see, our prices went up to $27.25 for these and $27.03 for these. Now, if you want to see the difference in price, all you have to do is click on edit and you see that we're purchasing it for $11.36 and we're selling it for $27.25. Here we can individually change the profit percentage as well. So maybe we want to lower it. Maybe we want to do 120%. It's going to bring down the price to $26.07 with our total profit being $13.93. I'm going to keep it the way it was before. Then we have the images tab where we also have an image editor and the item specifications. So I think so far it looks good. I think this is going to be pretty much ready to go live on our website. So all we have to do now is click on save and import. Then it's going to go live on our site within minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the progress. Let's go ahead and click on back over to our Shopify store. And as you can see, it actually automatically updated. Now we have our magical unicorn shower gear. We have 30 in stock with four different variants. All right, so let's click into this and let's see actually what it looks like. So what's it going to look like in our store? So here all we have to do is click on more actions and click on preview. And this is what it looks like. So we have my store, home catalog contact, and we have the magical unicorn shower gear. And we have our product name, the different variants, our images, and our product description. It's not that bad. It actually does not look too bad. It's pretty basic right now because we haven't really done too much to it. So now let's go ahead and actually start changing a couple of things so that way it looks better. All right. So now we're back over to our Shopify dashboard. And all we're going to do is click on our online store down here. Once we're on this page, we can see our theme. So currently we have the Dawn theme. And if you scroll down a bit more, then you have a few free themes. Now these are all customizable and you can change the colors, items, the descriptions, whatever you need. On top of these, there are some other paid ones, but you don't really need those. You can really get away with using the free ones because these are more than enough for what you need. And realistically speaking, they look pretty good. So my personal favorite is actually the refresh. So let's go ahead and add that. And then once it finishes installing, we're going to be able to publish it or customize it. All right. So now it's finished installing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on customize. So right now our concern isn't necessarily the homepage. This is something that we will eventually have to actually update and make it look nice. But right now we're focusing particularly on our product page. So up here where it says homepage, let's go ahead and change that over to where it says products and let's click on default product. So this is what every single one of our pages is going to look like on our store. So you're going to have the my store, the home, the catalog contact, your little announcement bar, and all of the different details for the product. Now here, we don't have to do too much. We can make it basic. As long as everything looks clean and professional, we're good. So our title looks good already. Our description looks good. It is a big block of text, so we might want to break that up. But before we do that, let's go ahead and actually make it look a bit more coherent. And let's just make the product page look a little bit better. All we're going to do simply here is tweak the color scheme. Now, if you're not very good at matching colors like me, then Shopify actually makes it pretty easy for you to be able to change the different colors so that way everything matches. So here what we have to do is simply click on a section that we want. So I'm just going to click on the header over here and you're going to get this menu bar on the side. Scroll down a little bit and then you're going to see the color. You're going to see the color scheme and the menu color scheme. Here we can go ahead and change it to any one of these, which makes it a bit easier or we can customize them. So here all I'm simply going to do is click on scheme number two because it kind of just makes everything a bit more bright. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the second option. Now where we have the actual product, it's a little bit darker than the top part, which is totally okay. I'm going to keep it that way. This announcement bar up here, the color matches. It looks good. Now, if we scroll down, this right here doesn't really match. So let's go ahead and change this as well. I'm going to change this to color scheme number two, along with the footer. Footer, I'm also going to change to the color scheme number two. So the only color that we're going to leave right here is going to be on our announcement bar, the background of our product page, and our buttons. Aside from that, everything should be fairly straightforward, and it looks pretty clean. Now we have an announcement bar, and then we have a My Store, which we need to change. Obviously, if somebody jumps into our product page and they see this, they're not really going to feel too comfortable or too confident making a purchase because all they're going to see is welcome to our store and my store. So let's rename this. So in order to change my store, we actually have to change the name of our store. Now I kind of like magical unicorn shower gear, even though this is a hippo. So we might want to change this to magical hippo shower gear, let's say, or just magical shower gear as an overall store name. So let's go ahead and save this really fast. So what we're going to do right now is actually exit out of this. So let's get out of the editor and on the search bar, let's look up store name. So you can see the store details over here and the store name right now is just basically my store. Let's go ahead and click on edit and we can go ahead and change this now. So we're going to change this to magical shower gear, then click on save. Now if we go back to our product page, which we have here already as a preview and refresh it. So let's go ahead and actually go back to our online store. Let's check out the theme again on the refresh. Let's go back to customize. We're going to see magical shower gear, change this back over to the products. So we have magical shower gear. Then we have our home, the catalog and the contact. These we can also get rid of because we don't really need any of these currently since we don't have more products and we don't really have a contact information button here. So in order to change this menu right here, all we simply have to do is click on this and where it says main menu, just click on change and change menu. Now I'm going to show you what that does, but this isn't 
what we're going to do. I'm just going to give you an example so that way you know for your own reference. So you click on that and it's going to give you your footer menu, which is typically what goes down here where we add our different types of pages. So we can have our return policy page or our shipping policy page down here, which is typically what goes in a footer menu, right? But right now we're focusing on our main menu. So here we can go ahead and create a menu and it's actually going to take us to another page under the navigations tab under our online store where we're going to have the option to create a brand new menu. So here we can name our menu and add different menu items to it or different links that will point to different parts of our website. But we're not going to do that because I decided this is going to be a one product shop and we're going to specifically focus on this bath time adventure kit. So what we're going to do now is actually I made the decision as I was making the store to make this currently into a one product store. Of course, right now we're working with a draft. So we're going to build this up right now. And then what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to fine tune it. So just keep sticking with me here. So right now this page is going to be specific to this bath time adventure kit. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure you've noticed by now this isn't a full on kit, but again, we're in the draft stage right now and we are going to be fine tuning it as we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click up here and we're going to get rid of this menu because we don't really need our customers to go to the home, to the catalog, or honestly, even to contact us. If they want to contact us, then they can easily just send us an email, which for reference would also be part of the footer menu. So let's go ahead and get rid of this menu. And all we have to do here is click on change and simply remove menu. As you can see, now we just have the magical shower gear along with product page. That's it. No more menu. Now, as for the banner up here, here, we always want to have some sort of announcement or something that gives our customers a bit of confidence or even a bit of pressure in order to have them make a purchase. What do I mean by pressure? I mean, tell them that we have a sale going on or everything is currently 10% off, 20% off for the next week. So that way they start to think that if they don't make the purchase now, they can miss out on this and have to pay more later on down the line. So for the announcement bar, if we click onto it, you're not going to have any options to be able to change anything. You're going to have the actual options for the announcement bar. So all we have to do is click on back and then here under header, you see the announcement bar and then it gives us the text. So all we have to do is click on here and write something along the lines of free shipping on all orders, products currently 10% off. That's it. That's all we have to do on there and just make a quick little announcement. Or even then you don't have to put that. You could just put welcome to magical shower gear or whatever your store name is. All right. So once we have that, we pretty much have everything ready. Now we just need to start fine tuning. So let's go ahead and click on save and I'm going to click on publish. So since we have the other theme installed, the one that's by default, the Dawn theme, once we publish, it'll replace the Dawn theme with the one that we edited, which is the refresh. So let's click on publish on that. And then now let's see what our store actually looks like. So let's click on these three dots and click on preview. As you can see, there's no menu bar down here, but we're not going to be navigating people to this page. We're actually going to be navigating them directly to here. So we have our product. We have the different color scheme that we chose, our announcement bar, no menu bar. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, straight to the point, And it looks pretty clean. Of course, if you have more information, if you have more images that you want to add, you can always add everything here in the description. Now let's start a little bit of the fine tuning on here because right now it's not fully exactly the way that we need it to be or optimized. So magical unicorn shower gear. Let's go ahead and change this and just actually change this to hippo shower gear. Baby's bath time adventure kit. This isn't necessarily an adventure kit. So let's go ahead and change this right here and put shower cup. So now we're gonna have to do the same thing on the description. So my suggestion is to just go ahead and read over your entire description and make any necessary changes. Now, once your edits are done to the description as well as the title, then you need to save it. And then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to our different variations. So now let's go ahead and select everything and let's click on bulk edit. Now, once we click on bulk edit, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set a compare to price. So it's going to look like everything is on sale when realistically speaking, it's not. That was our original price. But again, this is consumer psychology. When a customer thinks that something is on sale, they're going to feel a bit more pressured to make the purchase right now. So once we're on here, you're going to see a few different options. None of these really have anything to do with prices. So let's click on columns. Let's take off this. Let's take off all the bulk and let's leave the price as well as the compare at price. So here we have our different prices, $27.03 and $27.25. Now to make things easier, let's just go ahead and leave everything at... $27.99. Now, of course, you can do all of this through the AutoDS app, but I'm also showing you the option to doing it directly on the Shopify app because every once in a while, you're going to have to switch and either make edits through the Shopify app or through the AutoDS app. And if you're not using AutoDS, then that's not really going to be too relevant for you. So here we have everything at $27.99. And now let's find out what $27.99 is plus 10%, which is what we're going to be discounting it from. So the compare price is going to be $30.78, which doesn't look too good. So let's just go ahead and leave it at $30.99. Do that all the way down and click on save. All right, so let's run back over to our product page and now it should show that it looks like it's on sale. So it's on sale for $27.99 down from $30.99. Also, we have everything updated. The magical hippo shower gear, baby's bath time shower cup. 
magical shower gear, free shipping on all orders. So there's one last thing that we need to do here to make this a bit more trustworthy and make it just pop out a little bit more. And that's adding a logo. Now, the easiest way that you can do this is by simply going over to Canva, click on create design and create a logo. Then you're going to come to this page and here just click on over where it says apps and we're going to look for this featured text to image. Click on open styles. Right now we're just going to leave this at none and we're going to make a description of what we want. So here all we have to do now is simply tell Canva what we want. So I want a line art logo of a hippo in a bathtub with a shower cap. Let's see what it comes up with in this case. All right. So a few of these, maybe this one, this one looks all right. Definitely not that one and not that one. So I don't really like any of these. So let's go ahead and create again. All right. So so once again, this one, this one looks all right, actually, it's not too bad. So let's change this. Okay, so I actually ended up searching up magical hippo line art, and this is one that came out that I actually kind of like. So I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm not gonna make it too big. Just gonna have to make it a little bit smaller here. And now I'm just gonna add the text. So I wanna add the name. So let's go with something like this. And here I'm gonna change this part to magical. Get rid of that part. Now I'm gonna get rid of the top part, shower. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna name it Magical Hippo Shower. Now this is implying that it's a hippo, so let's just go with this. Okay, so now we're back over to the editor on Shopify and we're gonna add our logo. So simply click on our header and here you can see edit your logo in theme settings. So we're gonna click on theme settings and then it's gonna ask us to upload our logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and select an image. Once it's uploaded, click done. And now it should show up on the top, Magical Hippo Shower. Go back to the product page and there we go magical hippo shower so as you can see it actually replaced the entire name with the logo so now all we have to do is simply click on save let's refresh our product page and there we have it there we have our magical hippo shower logo i really like that actually i think that looks pretty good so at this point our store is pretty much ready to start making some sales and start making some money now one thing we need to do is since we have our own store and our own website we need to create traffic we need to bring in our own traffic and create some hype around our product there's a few different ways to do this and of course this is actually where a little bit of a budget can help you out so if you have a few extra bucks you can always run something like facebook Facebook ads, or you can order the product itself and start making some videos to post on TikTok. Aside from that, one free way that you're able to start marketing this product is by simply doing something like creating a blog. So create a blog, talk about some problems about showering your kids and how this particular product can be the solution to it. On your blog, simply just link this product and start driving traffic that way. Then after you start making some sales and start getting some money in, then you can actually start increasing your budget for marketing and start running some actual ads on Facebook to be able to bring in more sales. Now, once you do start to get your first sale or two, then if you're sourcing your product from a supplier, like let's say AliExpress, then you can do everything manually and place your order directly with your supplier and have that item sent to your customer. Now that's perfectly fine, but it can start to take some time if you're doing everything manually. If you start to get in more orders, if you start to get in maybe 20, 30 different orders, then at that point, it's really going to take a long time. So this is when out of the S kicks in again and can automate the entire thing for you. It makes two or three hours of just straight work into maybe 10 minutes. So whenever you get your first order, AutoDS is going to automate it for you. You're going to have two options for this. For one, you can do automatic orders where AutoDS is going to log into your supplier's account and make the purchase on your behalf using your credit card details. But if you're using the AutoDS marketplace or the winning product section and you're importing your products from there, then in this case, what it's going to do is use fulfilled by AutoDS, where instead of using your account details and your banking details, it's going to make the purchase using the AutoDS account details and it's going to use a balance that you top up. Once you get your first order, all you have to do is simply click on orders over here. And of course, this isn't from the store. This is from a few different stores that I have because we haven't gotten any orders yet on our magical hippo store. But here you can see all of the different options. So as you can see, all these different products have already been delivered. While this one is currently pending, AutoDS is about to actually place the order for this. This one itself has been ordered and is currently waiting for the shipper to actually ship it and provide us with a tracking number. Once it does that, this will automatically switch over to shipped. And that's how you can get started dropshipping for $0 or at the very least one or two dollars now remember this video was the bare basics this is everything that you need just to get started if you want to keep scaling your business if you want to keep growing if you want to keep making more profits then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on some of the best tips and tricks to help you actually scale your business if you made it this far i want to give you a huge thank you it truly means a lot that you watch the entire video and I really hope that I provided some value and some helpful information to you. If you want to get started with Shopify and you want the trial for just $1 for the next three months, just check out the description down below. I'm going to have a link to it down there. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and catch you all next time.